David, do you take Elizabeth to be your wife, to remain true to her for the rest of your life together? I do. I thought you might. <laughs> and Elizabeth, do you take David to be your husband, to remain true to him for the rest of your life together? I do. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the solemn moment has come for David and Elizabeth to contract their marriage before you as their witnesses. I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These people here present... I'm going to get you to do that again. OK, sorry. These persons here present... These people... Persons, persons here present... To witness that I... To witness that I... David... David... Do take thee... Do take thee... Elizabeth... Elizabeth... To be my lawful wedded wife... To be my lawful wedded wife... I promise to love and care for you. I promise to love and care for you. To comfort and protect you. To comfort and protect you. To listen and confide in you. To listen and confide in you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. To respect your thoughts and dreams. To respect your thoughts and dreams. And to trust and believe in you. To, to trust and believe in you. Above all others. Above all others. Okay, well done, Dave. Sorry about that first bit, but <laughs> yes, that's, a, that's one of the little bits that you have to say. And Elizabeth's turn. I call upon. I call upon. These persons here present. These persons here present. To witness that I, Elizabeth. To witness that I, Elizabeth. Do take thee, David. Do take thee, David. To be my lawful wedded husband. To be my lawful wedded husband. I promise to love and care for you. I promise to love and care for you. To comfort and protect you. To comfort and protect you. To listen and confide in you. To listen and confide in you. To be honest and faithful to you. To be honest and faithful to you. To respect your thoughts and dreams. To respect your thoughts and dreams. And to trust and believe in you. And to trust and believe in you. Above all others. Above all others. Brilliant. Elizabeth, I give you this ring. Elizabeth, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as an outward sign. And as an outward sign. Of our commitment to each other. Of our commitment to each other. And then gently slide the ring on her finger. Not that gently, come on. <laughs> ring. David, I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And as an outward sign. And as an outward sign. Of our commitment to each other. Of our commitment to each other. Okay, don't worry about being gentle, just slide the ring on his finger. Good. David and Elizabeth, you have both made the declarations prescribed by law and have made a solemn and binding contract with each other in my presence and in the presence of your witnesses, family and friends. This day is the start of a new life for you together and we hope that the feelings of love that you have for each other will only deepen and grow stronger throughout the years to come. May you have many happy years together and may you grow in understanding, <laughs> love and respect for each other. May the two of you always be the answer to each other's questions, the gift for each other's needs and the reason for each other's happiness. It is now my great pleasure and privilege to declare you husband and wife. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm glad you did that because I wasn't supposed to say that. <laughs> <laughs> and it was quite hard not to. Trust <laughs> me. There we go.